So, again, a new day is dawning. Revolution power lifting is, is here. I'm ready to lead the revolution. I feel that this has to be done because, uh, again, like I said, I, I've gone as far as I felt I could under the parameters in my former position. I just felt that uh, every, any suggestion that I was uh, bringing to the table was not considered or just dismissed offhand. Um, and like I said, uh, you know, our success speaks for itself. Uh, Amy and I strive very hard to present the top quality product for the people. You know, you work hard for your money in this economy. It sucks. Uh, you know, you want the most bang for your buck, and the people have done a Rich Lack uh, presented meat knows what you're going to get, you know, in a warm-up room and, and on the platform and, and everything, you know, from A to Z, you know what you're going to get, and if there's an issue, you can come to one of us, and 99% of the time, we're going to be able to give you an answer uh, one way or the other. Either we'll try to accommodate you or if we can't we'll explain why and do it for the future. What's going to set us apart is uh, we're going to have international support. Um, I already have the support of the Russian and Ukrainian affiliates because they came to us solely because of the opportunity to work with me. Being at the IPA wasn't really first and foremost in their mind several other uh, organizations or excuse me countries that will be uh, joining us as well because they were in limbo because they didn't know what was going on but now that uh, everything's been brought to the forefront uh, that's just going to be a formality. The meets that are scheduled from September 10th through the end of this year with Christmas carnage and going all the way to next year um, they're going to be, you know, they're they're a go because they're my meets. They weren't any, they didn't belong to anybody. They were meets that I started, and I worked my ass off along with Amy to get these things established and get them to where they're at. So um, this all leads to the culmination next year, September. Uh, I think it's uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th. We're going to be doing our first Super World Invitational. It's going to be in Newark, New Jersey, and the Russians, the Ukraines, and uh, by, by that time, who knows who else is going to be coming. But the best of the best will be in uh, Newark, and you're going to have to qualify to be there. So, um, meets that uh, I'll be putting out a qualifier list uh, to be eligible to do that because I'm only taking X amount of number of lifters, and only the people who qualify get in first. If you haven't qualified, you'll go on the wait list, and if there's room at the end, then we'll fit you in. Much like what we did with Connecticut, because we had a 50 lifter limit, and we hit that six, seven weeks out from the meet. We went on standby, and we ended up with uh, 30 people on uh, uh, standby, and eventually most of them got into the meet because of dropouts and so forth, so the same thing applies. Standards have to be met. The best of the best should be on the platform. We're going to do the New Jersey State Championships along with the North American Championships. So that'll be uh, a new championship that will take place. But that will be uh, obviously a qualifier to uh, get into world. That's basically what I got besides the international support and the credibility of the name lifters here on the East Coast that have done my meets. Uh, that sets me apart from everybody else based, uh, besides the fact of who I am and what I've done. That people know that uh, I stand for quality and powerlifting.